Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. Hello, hello, Mom and Dad Meat World. So we are back with yet another a Universal Yums box. Yes, indeed. It came a little bit damaged in the mail, but uh, that's okay. Apparently, it was already inspected by nobody. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, came with a sticker that said, uh, received in damage condition, has initials on it, but nobody signed the initials. So that was amusing to us. Um, it looks like the glue might have failed and then the post office might have just stuck some tape at the end. So hopefully it's a complete kit. We don't know. Dennis just broke the seal. Um, we are excited to be able to bring this month's International Yum Box to you. I don't know what country we're going to get to eat from this morning, but um, I'm kind of hungry. It's lunches here, so. Inside, it still looks to be packed well. It's very pretty. Okay. Here we are. We are going to be going to the Netherlands. Yes, the Netherlands. Are you hungry for more? So, yeah, we're, we're hungry. It's about lunchtime here. So uh, it says right now in the Netherlands, dressing in orange, waving a flag, and dancing in the street because it's springtime is normal. Camera. Camera's over here. Sorry, guys. Can't see behind my own face. Uh, Trying to get that in focus. So it comes with a scorecard and stickers like always. So if you have something that you like, love, and want to buy, um, you can like fill out the little store card. It's fun to do that too, but also if you decide you do want to go try and um, buy more of this particular treat, I'm sure that that's uh, something they would encourage. Yo, let's try out. What are we going to try out first? The Roca? Uh, the, the Gouda Cheese Crispies. The Roca by Roca. It's an original cheese biscuit. Cheese biscuit. So it says that there is one serving per container. So this whole bag is the serving, so that's good. Um, which means when Dennis and I share it, it's less calories. Uh, not that we're eating these for calories, mind you. Uh, but there is 140 calories per bag, if anybody's got any questions on that. Um, they do include the nutritional facts in the back of the bag, just like everything we do here locally in the U.S. They smell really good. Let me see if we can't cover up our faces and show this to you. So, while he's trying his first bite, I'm gonna tell you, it does smell a lot like a really, really good Gouda. If you're a fan of Gouda cheese, maybe a glass of wine, that's what it smells like, it's good Gouda. Hmm. To me, it almost tastes like a Parmesan crisp, except not as crispy, almost grainy. It's very airy. It's, it, it does got a hint of Gouda flavor. Um, I don't taste the Parmesan like you saying, but like, it is very, it's very light. It's almost like a mix between like a Triscuit meets um, uh, just a, a really light cracker. Uh, so it's really good. You definitely get the cheese smell, the cheese flavor. It's gonna go better with something else. It would accompany something. Um, it's not necessarily something I would eat standalone. Although it does remind me of um, a little bit of goldfish crackers too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, goldfish crackers. Does. Yeah, a lot of the smell too. Yep. But one more time here, this Roca, really good little snack, savory, quite good. Uh, organic sea salt and cracked pepper chips. They look like potato chips, just so you guys can see. Uh, it says that there is one serving per container, 210 calories. This company has been in business for 35 years. And this is gonna pop this open. And it says, um, these salty chips may seem simple at first, but don't let them, them deceive you. At one point, they would have been a luxury item. Peppercorn used to be so costly in the Neverlands that lo locals started describing expensive things as pepper or expensive as pepper. Thankfully, as trade developed, spices like pepper became a lot more accessible. As someone who likes anything pepper, um, that would have been a bummer for me not to be able to get pepper unless I like had a lot of money because when we go everywhere and they're like, do you want cheese or do you want pepper on your food? I always say yes. So apologies as I was struggling to get these open. But here they are. All right. They look really good. Regular potato chip. Smells a lot like pepper. Even though it says sea salt and pepper, it smells primarily of pepper. Mm. 
Mm. Okay. Not salty at all. Peppery. A no. little bit of pepper. But mainly, I was going to say, it's more like a, a regular potato chip without any other flavor. A little, little, very little hint of pepper. And not very salty at all. The texture is more along the lines of a Tim's Cascade chip than it is a Lay's potato chip. So yeah, not as just, thick, but definitely thicker than a regular Lay's potato chip. It it uh, definitely doesn't have, when it says sea salt and pepper, it definitely doesn't have like the salt and vinegar that you get when you think of a sea salt um, type chip. The salt, like Dennis said, is very, very mild. Um, is primarily or predominantly a pepper chip there, right, in their description. Yeah, very subtle, but also very good. So we're gonna move to the spiced cookies. They're, they're speculos spice cookies, uh, possibly the coolest cookie ever, it says. Is if, it, is if it's the first time you're ever seeing the world of speculos, you might be imagining an old timey eyeglass. Luckily in the ne Netherlands, it's the number one cookie and it's a whole lot tastier than spectacles. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine eating your eyeglasses is very tasty. Um, their name comes from a Latin word, speculum, which means mirror. And as the spice cookies design to mirror the stamp imprinted on them. Um, it looks like they might look like little gingerbread men. So. Oh, they do. Look at how cute that is. It's like the size of my pinky. Legitimately, the size of my pinky. It's a little gingerbread man or a little ghosty man. I don't know. Wow. Really, really good. Mm. Not super crunchy, not super heavy. Kind of a light cookie from what you would expect from a gingerbread cookie. Not as dense as what I can describe it because a gingerbread cookie um, I'm used to is very dense. This is not. It's really, really good. It smells phenomenal, actually. This is really, really good. This is great. I would totally order these for the holidays or anybody who just likes to have gingerbread around. It's not hard. It doesn't feel like you gotta break into it like it's stale or it's old. It's very airy, like Dennis is saying. And uh, if you're even a little bit a fan of spice cookies or gingerbread cookies, these are a, these are a go-to. Caramel Stroop Ruffles. Caramel, caramel, caramel. That should be a good little um, sensation. It says uh, these these are uh, reported by Dutch children to be to make them the happiest in the world. <laughs> this must be a common dessert there. And um, the potential reasons for that is they have an impress impressive infrastructure and top-notch education, to name a few. But in, but they have a different history. Back in the 1840s, local bakers used leftover cookie crumbs and caramel to create this childhood staple. So basically, this is what what they get for not throwing things out in the kitchen and being wasteful. Is this this is how this invention came about? Which I love. Um, having done some some volunteering and working in soup kitchens in the past, uh, it looks like it's just one giant cookie. I thought it was two, but it's maybe one. It's making a mess all over the place. I can tell you that for sure. It's very crumbly. So it is too. There's caramel in the middle that was making it stick together. They're about, you know, half the size of my palm, so they're pretty decent size, three, four inches across. They smell, the caramel almost smells like honey. Smell that, tell me what you think. Yeah, I mean. And that could be from the cookie itself as well. I, I really like the, the texture design, it looks like a waffle. Mm. But they are called Stroop Waffles, which makes a lot of sense. That's delicious. The mm. caramel is so thin, you guys. It doesn't stick to your teeth. The waffle coats it. It's almost like, um, like you know how a peanut butter jelly sandwich or peanut butter Nutella sandwich, something that the stickiness is really, if it can be laid really thick or really thin and it can stick to your teeth or not stick to your teeth. They've got this down to a science with the thin coating. Um, almost like a fine, fine layer of honey, but it's but it's caramel. It's yeah. delicious. They put the caramel right in the middle. The cookie on the outer. It's not a crispy cookie. It's very good and soft. This, this would pair really, really well with a cup of coffee along with that other cinnamon dessert. Mm -hmm. Really, really delicious. Right. So we're gonna move on to this one right here. This is gonna be their fruity candy. Yep. It says a juicy strawberry, black currant. And cherry. 
So it's a candy shaped like cars. It's a Dutch thing that became famous um, in the auto drop in 1965. This product lineup includes uh, parking attendants, steering wheels, and of course their best selling Cadillacs. Um, they could go on a long and juicy, chewy ride, but it's better to just let you take a taste drive. It's, it's pretty cute actually. Their little slogan here and their little box. So, Dennis just opened it and I can already tell you I can smell the strawberry for sure. So um, you're taking a taste drive, not a test drive, but a taste drive. Looking at this, I have a giant pink Cadillac. I don't know if Dennis, if I can get Dennis and I out of focus enough to uh, to show you, but it is a pink Cadillac gummy bear type thing. Good detail in the car. The texture reminds me of a mix between a Swedish fish and a gummy bear. It's a little thick and chewy. The flavor's great. There's different shades of pink, from a dark pink to a light pink. It also has a hint of a lic licorice flavor. I think that's the um, the black currant undertone. Mm -hmm. Very chewy. It's gonna take me a while to finish this one piece. If you like gummy bears and you like licorice, this is a great combination of the two. So it's chocolate and it's cream filled. This yum is about to teach you a lesson about deliciousness, but first it needs to teach you a different lesson about the Dutch language. You may look at this chocolate bar and think, oh, that's cute, but there's actually more to it. The wrapper depicts the 1897 reading board that helped generations of Dutch children learn to read. It'll teach you Dutch names as well as the word for fire, lamb, and buck. Here's an extra Dutch word that you'll want to use. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. It starts with a V-E-R-R-U, K-K-E, L I I J K. I already have dyslexia. We're not gonna add you guys trying to listen to me pronounce things, but it means delicious. It sounds delicious. It looks delicious. Flip that bar over and you'll see it. it has little blocks cut out of it, kind of like the um, the World Bars that used to sell when you were doing uh, school fundraisers. fundraisers. Yep. <laughs> you there knew right go. where I was going. So we're just gonna grab a piece. Snap it. It does not even snap, it's very soft. It's very soft. It's got a, you can, you can see it um, right down the middle of it. You see it then? There's a layer right there of like, that's the uh, hazelnut cream filling, I'm pretty sure. It's okay. already wanting to melt in my hand. I took a bite in half. I need to say I'm pulling it apart. And it's got a hazelnut filling. It's wow. not the same flavor as like a Ferrero Rocher. Because the cocoa contrast, the chocolate is so much richer. That's delicious. That's that's decadent. So that was our international box, the Yum's box for this month. Absolutely delicious. Spot on delicious from the Netherlands. Yes, the Netherlands, they've got great snacks. Universal Yums has really come across um, every country that we've seen and every continent really well. Um, we're only three months into the year. I can't wait to see what the next nine months brings. Yep, this was awesome. Actually, this was box number four. Overall, it was phenomenal. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked what you saw here, and uh, link is in, is in the description for Universal Yums. But if you like what you saw, please give a like and subscribe. It really helps out our channel. Thank you very much for watching. And until the next video, thank you.